Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to have a quick look at begin shape and end shape. Begin shape and end shape is like telling processing how to draw a line by telling it where to put the pencil down and where to move it to. So I can draw a line from point A to point B using the line function. And then I can draw a point C, and I can connect that one as well, and then perhaps point D. So if I can do all of this, why do I need to use a, a different function? Well, firstly, this is an odd shape, so it's difficult to draw using um, something like the rect function or, a, or anything like that. But we would use begin shape and end shape to put our pen down and move it from several places and then lift the pen off when we're finished. If we want to draw this connecting line at the end here, although it won't be a different color, that's just to show you, I can add close to the end shape function. But how do we define the points? As we see on the processing sketch on the other side of the window, we have several points, each of which has a vertex or a corner. So rather than drawing a line from A to B, then a line from B to C, then a line from C to D, and a line from D to point A, all I have to do is define the location of these corners, these vertices, and call end shape close to draw this shape that I've drawn. If I run this sketch, we can see that it also includes a fill color inside the shape that I've created. I'll just make it a bit bigger. So there we go, I've drawn a triangle, and it also is filled in the inside of this shape. I can't do that if I'm just drawing a series of lines, so that's another advantage of using begin shape and end shape. As we can see in our example, we have a vertex for each location. We can actually have as many vertices as we want. And also remember by adding close to the end of end shape, all in capital letters, that will close off the shape that we draw. So there we have it, a very quick introduction to how to use begin shape and end shape.